Hi everyone, I'm Maria Petrashka from the TV news agency. Once German sex chancellor Angela Merkel suffered a significant damage to her political reputation and her rating as well. After all, it was she who had been accused of the migration crisis in the European Union. She generously promised to take care of the migrants, but the rosy European populism crashed against the harsh reality. And how about now? Germany is in search of a new chancellor. This means that the country's political establishment needs to earn political points. And quite conveniently, he comes another migration wave, seemingly at the wrong time. But this is politics, so they try to leverage it in different ways. For example, saying it's not us who are to blame for migration crisis, it's not our completely failed policy and friendship with NATO, it was not us who unleashed the war in the Middle East. This is all Lukashenko's fault. You know, Goebbels once said propaganda should affect feelings more than reason and therefore it should be flashy and catchy. And it's scary to admit that even today German media are following Goebbels' advice. Recently, a number of media outlets published an article of dubious content with a catchy headline. German authorities seem to be investigating Lukashenko according to media reports. Alexander Lukashenko is expected of smuggling migrants into Germany. Almost 4,000 people have entered the country since August. The article itself says that the president is expected of smuggling, which is a rather bold statement. Doesn't Germany's libel law cover lies about foreign politicians? Or do my German colleagues have the evidence after all? Like, for example, footage of the president of Belarus personally driving migrants in his car. By the way, in the comments section under the article, German readers ask a number of logical questions too. Of course, Lukashenko is responsible for refugees from Afghanistan, Syria, Iraq or other countries democratized by NATO. It was he who destroyed the economies of these countries, destroyed their homes and jobs and lured them into the Polish border. Europe is truly an expert at finding someone to blame for its own problems. Surprisingly, this time it's not Putin. So I decided to ask German journalists directly. Let me just see who mm -hmm. the best person to speak to is, yeah? Yes. One second. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. In the original source site, they say they only spoke German. My name is Kebeman. Hello, my name is Maria Petrashka. How can I talk with the journalist who was responsible for this publication? But our email was successfully ignored, and I really wanted to know why this article doesn't say a word about the cruelty with which Polish border guards pushed refugees back to Belarus. After all, the refugees were beaten, intimidated with dogs and even gunfire over their heads. Why is it kept back from the German audience? Since Tide didn't answer, I turned to the colleagues from Germany's T Online who shared this article. My call, as well as my written request and request through social networks, were ignored. And among other things, I was really keen to find out, for example, what grounds did my colleagues have to state that some migrants who had a Belarusian student visa had been allegedly brought to the Polish border by security services. By which specific services? Where is the evidence? Same questions were again asked by the readers. Where is the evidence? According to media reports, Alexander Lukashenko is expected of smuggling migrants into Germany. Did he really do it personally? Does Belarus have a border with Germany? Answer, he's a suspect. Apparently that is why there is an investigation, pretty likely, isn't it? Second, no, but there have been enough reports over the last week to explain this procedure. Answer. I don't know any single report that would explain this. Do you have a link there? Cheap propaganda. Germany would never dare to jail a president of another country. By the way, the migrants have already passed through Poland under the Dublin Agreement there to be registered and accommodated there. And then the very same article appears in Bild. Where is the evidence, Bild? At first, the office ignored our calls. But then they pretended to be waiting for our message with questions. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is not my article. Mm -hmm. um, is it possible that you can uh, write a, an email to us? Yes, yes. The email is actually wrong, but no matter, don't hesitate to write. And then, after much trying, we finally go through to Deutsche Welle, which, as you might have guessed, also published the same article. Indeed, why you should try and invent new fakes if you can share those that have already been written. 
can you contact to uh, Russian or uh, Ukraine? It's okay or you want to do another? Um, but it was posted on your German website in it. Uh, why Russian or Ukraine? I'm from Belarus. Marin, давайте по русски. О, oh, супер, спасибо. Скажите еще раз, вы откуда? Бел, Бел телерадиокомпания, телеканал Беларусь один. Государственный. Да. Uh-huh. А это имеет значение? Как Нет, просто интересно. Ну смотрите, там же э, все по русски написано. Значит, мы ссылаемся на информацию немецких СМИ. Ну то есть вам в принципе не принципиально, если они даже распространяют фейки, вы перерепостили так спокойно все это. Значит, Марин, давайте эту дискуссию мы с вами не будем вести uh-huh. сейчас, потому что если у вас какие-то еще вопросы, то давайте через пресс-службу. Журналистская этика. Журналистик этикс. Факт-чекинг before publishing. Does anyone still have any doubts about the advisability of blocking their website in Belarus? You know what else amazes me? The article says that a preconditional for an increase in the number of people entering Germany is a migration dispute with Belarus. That is the reason is not the flight of American troops from Afghanistan, and not the war in the Middle East unleashed by NATO troops. And where are those Germanese politicians who generously invite refugees to the European Union? The fact that the article doesn't make sense is clear to ordinary Germans. The comment under the post speaks for itself. Why introduce sanctions against Belarus? The refugees are coming from Poland. Here I would like to reiterate that Poland took part in the war in Iraq, with a significant contingent and thus contributed to the house and the influx of refugees. However, Poland is not ready to take responsibility for its actions and accept the refugees while ignoring EU laws and receiving a lot of money from the EU. Here we need to clear statements and painful sanctions against Poland, instead of constantly harassing Lukashenko. Just keep it in mind that the refugees have heard your propaganda too, and now they certainly will not go back. After all, it was you who intimidated them with Bashar al-Assad and Bahram Saleh, and now it's your problem. No matter how European politicians choose to play up with the situation, People's lives are not something to play with, but they seem to have been lost in the game. More political news in our Telegram channels.